can actually copy the color grade of any image it's actually quite easy to do and quite simple to do in Photoshop so let me go ahead and show you how easy it is to get this done with just a few simple clicks in Photoshop so as you can see I've got this image here of Alyssa so this image was shot in golden hour around 5 36 p.m. in the evening this particular technique works best if you're using a image that was shot in quite similar time of day to get the best results it's advisable to use it in scenarios where it's actually quite similar so i've got this image this is an image i shot of Alyssa, and then we've got our reference image so we're going to try and make that image look like this image it's got lots of earthy tones and stuff to it so you can either open the image that you want to reference in photoshop or you can download it and leave it somewhere on your desktop so the first thing you want to want to do is create a duplicate layer so command j so that's step one so command j i don't actually know what what the command is in windows but and i'm sure i'll put it once i figure it out somewhere here so yeah so command j duplicate her layer and all you need to do is come up to filters and under neural filters you will have this window come up and what you want to do is you come come on all the way down and you go to where it says color transfer so it's currently in beta but you will need to download this if you haven't downloaded it already with the latest photoshop so you'll need to download it and all you do is click it on so this is the window that's going to pop up it will have some presets here which you could use um, to actually try and get a similar effect like this image here might work but we want to do this custom as we we've downloaded an image and we've got an image ready that we want to replicate so we're going to click custom and it's going to give us a couple of options and it's going to ask us to find the image that we're trying to actually use so as you can see it will pop up here if you've already got the image open in photoshop it will pop up and it will show here um, if it hasn't you can go select image from your computer but because we've already got the reference image open in Photoshop, we're going to, you know, go straight to that one. So we click on to that. So straight away, it give you some, um, give you a sort of look, but it's not quite there. So what I recommend doing is, so you come to your image, um, you can select parts of the image if you wanted to, like a certain part or you select the whole image. Um, but so for this particular example, I'm going to select the whole image will then come down um, and said you've got a couple of options there in terms of the actual color space you could either use lab which is that one or you can use rgb i personally recommend using rgb for like this type of stuff especially when you have people in there so we're going to switch that to rgb and that will give us a much more accurate sort of representation if you want you can come in and you know tweak it a little um you know just to make the image work um blend a little bit more and your final step is to select how you want to you know export the image so where you can go current layer you can go smart filter and um, layer with layer mask or a new document i personally recommend going with smart filter that way you can actually make adjustments um after the fact as well so you can actually actually come back into here and make adjustments if you wanted to but yeah so as you can see it's gonna apply it over the whole image and once you click that and you click ok it will then open that image back into photoshop and it will open so you see it's given it um that sort of look and vibe so this is where you can actually fine tune it a little bit um of course it's very strong at the moment um uh, i think it's just because the lighting was slightly off in terms of the actual image that i've shot with Alyssa compared to the image of the other model but you can come in and reduce the opacity again because it's a smart filter you can double click and change any parameters if need be so you can come back in and actually tweak and change the parameters if you need to or want to do so and that will bring you back into your filter i then recommend creating like a curves adjustment layer above that and then just bring this down so what we want to do is bring down the bring the contrast down a little bit 
make it a little bit more poppy and we're gonna pin that so option and shift down so that will put that little change we've made a little s curve change we've made on the actual image of Alyssa. so right it's not quite there yet but we are close so if you look at the before and after as you can see the grass in the back has, has picked up that color from from the previous image so i personally don't like this in Alyssa's hair so what i'm going to do is create a layer mask on the actual layer with the smart object with the actual grid apply and i'm gonna get a normal brush on full 100 opacity and i'm gonna change that brush from white to black and literally paint around the hair area on areas that we don't want the actual grade to take effect. I'm gonna bring that down to about 20% and take some of it off our actual face because it's creating like an unwanted thing there. So yeah, um, and what we could do is copy all those layers and press Shift Option Command E and you create a stamp visible layer so you can actually see the image. So if I turn everything off that's underneath, you can see the changes we've made. And like I said, you can use your opacity slider to actually fine tune it and get it to roughly where you think you're happy with it. So if we were to bring that image in, I'm just gonna put it here. I'm gonna make it smaller. And I'm going to zoom in so you can actually see how much of the effect like I said I've reduced the opacity of it a little bit so it's not as intense but if I bring it up so you can see how closely we've actually matched the color to the actual um, image reference image you can see here obviously she's in a slightly different feel so the actual browns in the grass and in a slightly different but I do like how it looks um, and you know I'll be happy to post this as you can see it is that simple to actually copy or replicate the color grade of your favorite movie your favorite photographer so yeah give it a go and let me know what you guys think thank you for watching I'll catch you in the next one peace